Okay. Hi, I'm Rose, and I am eating sausages by Applegate uh, for a minute here. They're, they're really good. They're gluten-free, and they are chicken and maple. I, I love these things. It's 5 o'clock here at the shop, and I'm finally having a little bit of lunch because I would rather paint or do anything else than eat when I'm here. So, I, a customer just brought me in this chair, and um, you can see that it has a rod that's broken, um, or a dowel, and the uh, ends are broken up like that. This end is broken, so both, both of them from this one side. And um, I was able to shimmy it out a little bit, you know, because it was in, in the, over on this dowel here. And so I just undid it and took it out, which is going to be good. Because what the next thing I have to do to fix this is to drill a hole that size. And I have my handy little drill bit. They kind of have the little pointy thing. Those are the ones for drilling good holes for your dowels. And then I have these little dowels. This is the exact space that we need. So what I'm going to do is make new, put new dowels in here and to replace the old ones. And this one is all, all chunky and, and broken off. So that, that hole needs to be uh, sanded off or sawed off and then a hole drilled there. And then in both of the legs, also we got to drill it out because the old, old broken parts are still in there. So you got to clean that out. And then you can put in the new new bit inside the opening, slide it in there. If you want, you can wood glue it. Most of these old chairs haven't been glued. One downside is if you wood glue in there, when it breaks, it breaks. <laughs> and then you have to replace the whole thing. But it, it holds a lot better, you know, for the time that it's not broken. <laughs> so it's, it's a choice. So that's all for today. Bye-bye.